He was working behind the scenes to make it happen. And then it was like, y'all see that? Black Power, give it up now. Come on now. All right, so let me bring to the microphone my brother, your brother, ATL Florida, Florida ATL's own. King Tut in the building. Zalu. Zalu. Can I get a Zalu? Zalu, African family. Black Power. Y'all enjoying y'all self tonight? We got a whole lot of consciousness going on up here on this stage tonight. And I want to be sure, because we here with family tonight. I know it's all, turn to the African next to you and the African behind you and the African in front of you and say, it's good to be together as an African family again. I'm gonna give y'all a little quick little second on that. Look around, look to your, to your left, to your right, behind you, in front of you, and tell your African family it's good to be here with you as an African family again. Because that's what this is about. These colors <laughs> that Marcus Garvey gave us that next year will be 100 years old that we've had at the establishment of the black nation in the United States in the diaspora, in the world. The principles, the constitution, the charter of the UNIA. That is what we stand on as a nation of people. And these colors, this standard, every nation in the world has to have their own flag and this is ours. And those of us who stand on this flag, stand on the representation of the black nation. That is what we have to represent. That is where we stand in the world of people and nations, as the black nation, under Marcus Garvey's standard, the red, black, and the green. That's why it was just so natural, no pun intended, sister, uh, to have a RBG music festival, because we need to have that feeling amongst each other that we represent these colors and so we could come together as family and look each other in the eye and know this is my African family and this is who I'm going to be moving forward with. So this is the first annual. We're going to keep doing it. We're going to move it around. It ain't necessarily got to be an ATL thing. It got to be an organizing thing because if I learn anything through this process is that organizing 30 artists, you know what I mean, venue, Security, everything, that work is the work that's going to get us free. That's what we got to do. It's about statesmanship, statehood, statecraft. We got to get familiar with these terminologies so that we can properly represent this flag around the world. So, so that when people see these colors, they understand that it's a nation of people behind that that's willing to die for them. These colors are meant to stand for, and if called for, die for. We have to look at it from that point for to be able to sacrifice for the next generation of children that are coming. The ancestors already did it for us. Those of us standing particularly here in the city of Atlanta, you know what I mean, here in the southern United States, in the state of Georgia, where they established their original prison colony where they brought the, the most depraved of the Europeans here to this land to rape, pillage, and slaughter. And now we're standing here as a group of African people with our ancestor power, turning off the damn lights on the whole damn street, rocking yeah. conscious music all night long. Yeah. We weren't supposed to be doing this, but it's because Marcus Garvey and Malcolm and the ancestors stood and died for it that we're able to be here. So we have to keep that spirit of sacrifice in our minds as we move forward with what we have to do and it once again it's called organization if you like Tahir say if if you ain't organizing with it then what you doing you you, you just showing up like dr collins said we we got the you know the debate junkies you just come out you know you want to hear how good they can rap hey drop it brother drop it you say how he how good he laid it down right if, like Kwame Ture said, if you're not joining an organization, you might think, well, I ain't against black people. You know what I mean? I just stay over here in my corner. If you're not in an African-centered organization, you're against your people. Right if you sit here and look at the genocide that is occurring against us, where hundreds of thousands of our women and children are missing, they're shooting us down in the street, showing it like video, like, like, like you know what I'm saying, getting off on it. 
if you can't see that at this point what needs to be done is to stand for that and to be a part of another organized unit of people who's working in some direction whether it's the the uh, the, the sisters earlier today with the duelists the african center education speaking of that got the conrad i mean and them coming later on right. whatever organization focus it is that you take we have to have your energy towards that right now right. it's the only way we're going to push through what it is because they're trying to line this thing up they're going to take us on out the box we understand that that's what they always try to do but when you look at what we're doing here and you see our ancestral energy you know that if we stand on it if we organize it and think about it and put it in our mind and focus it and send it down the line it'll work but without doing that we'll still be going to and fro still hashtagging Watching people getting killed, listen to stories of our children getting kidnapped and sent into the sex slave traffic. If we don't join organizations and organize, period, point blank. That's all it is too, right? Right. I want you to do something right now. Speaking of organizing, I want you to look up a name in your phone. The name Mukasa Dada. Yeah. You might find the name Willie Ricks next to it. M-U-K-A-S-A-D-A-D-A. -D -A -D -A. Like I said, you might find the name Willie Rich next to it. This is one of our great elders and comrades who, <laughs> from the time when most of us, before most of us were born, was soldiering in the fight and the struggle for liberation here in this city and throughout the country and throughout the world. So at this time, what I'd like to do is bring my elder to the stage for y'all. We gotta have that elder's wisdom. We gotta see which direction we going in. We gotta know what's happening. Black power. 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 Black power.